So today we are going to study expansion of bounded lens. That is our topic. But uh, we have a question here that if this is a plate and we have a circular part cut out from it, and if this points are A, B, C, D, then which of the following will increase? A, B, B, C, C, D, or A, D? So the answer to this question will be that all these lengths will increase. All these lengths will increase. Why? Because expansion is isotropic, first thing. And the distance between each and every pair of atom is increasing in the substance. Let us say if you have A and B, so this distance is also increasing. Simultaneously, the distance between B and all the nearby atoms here also, it is going to increase. So this distance is also going to increase. It's not going to decrease. It's isotropic expansion. That means the entire, this whole thing is going to expand. The whole thing is going to expand, just like this. The distance between each and every atom in the substance is going to increase. So therefore, all these lengths are going to increase. Okay. So let us say if I have, you know, a ring like this, and this is the radius of the ring. This is a circular wire. So if I heat this wire, this radius will What is going to happen? What is going to happen to the radius? Badega. Yes. Badega. That's the point. Here the radius hai, R1. So that is also good because it's isotropic. Pura ka pura ring jo hai, uska size badega. So ye jo hai, this is R2. And this R2 will be equal to R1 into uh, 1 plus alpha delta T. Okay. So please note down this point first. So let us take one more example here. Just again, let us assume that we have a ring like this, aluminium ring here, Maripas. Yes, Maripas. Yes, Maripas. This is a semi-circular aluminium ring okay so uska jo coefficient hai alpha wo hai alpha aluminium coefficient of linear expansion so agar aapne isme koi do point consider kar liye jaise maan lo ki ye x hai ye y hai aur inke beech ka distance l1 hai so agar aapne yahan pe if you are you know heating this ring semicircular ring if we are heating this ring semicircular ring the length change yoga l2 final length l1 into 1 plus alpha aluminium delta t so what does this mean ki aap koi bhi do point select kar loge to bhi yahan pe jo expansion hai me koi bhi do point ke beech ka distance wo isi tarah se padne wala 1 plus alpha aluminum delta t. But love is the shape of the depend on the Okay. Dusra thing is that if it is radius of radius r1. Okay. So now the ring is going ring to expand. The ring is complete ring to expand. So the new radius r2 will be going to expand. So r2 will be going to expand. r2 is equal to r1 into 1 plus alpha aluminum delta t. उसके बाद इसका जो एरिया है इसका जो एरिया है इस रिंग का ऑल्दो यहां पे पूरा प्लेट नहीं है इट्स नॉट अ कंप्लीट सेमी सर्कुलर प्लेट इट्स नॉट अ इसका जो एरिया है मान लो इनिशियल एरिया अगर a1 है और फाइनल एरिया a2 है तो सुपरफिशियल एक्सपेंशन भी आप यहां पे यूज कर सकते हो आप देखोगे आप पाओगे एक्सपेरिमेंटली आप अगर इसको चेक करोगे तो आपको मालूम पड़ेगा कि जो a2 आ रहा है a2 वो भी इसी फॉर्मूले के हिसाब से आ रहा है 1 plus beta delta t 
आपको तो पता है बीटा क्या होता है बीटा होता है ट्वाइस ऑफ अल्फा यू कैन ऑल्सो राइट दिस एज वन प्लस ट्वाइस अल्फा एल्यूमिनियम डेल्टा टी ऐसा भी हम लिख सकते हैं तो सुपरफिशियल एक्सपेंशन भी हो रहा है यहाँ पे मतलब इसका जो एरिया है बेसिकली अगर हम ये एरिया कंसिडर करें ऑल दो यहाँ पे कोई प्लेट नहीं तो ये एरिया भी सुपरफिशियल एक्सपेंशन को फॉलो कर रहा है और वहां पे हम ये यूज कर सकते हैं कोफिशियंट ऑफ सुपरफिशियल एक्सपेंशन विच इज इक्वल टू ट्वाइस ऑफ अल्फा ओके प्लीज नोट डाउन टिल दिस पॉइंट ओके सो नाउ लेट अस डिस्कस वन मोर कांसेप्ट दैट इज द एक्सपेंशन ऑफ कैविटीज एक्सपेंशन ऑफ cavities so uh, let us consider a sphere so this is a sphere maybe i'm going to one okay this is a sphere and we have a small cavity in it ठीक है नाउ नाउ लेट अस से यू नो द रेडियस ऑफ दिस इज आर वन एंड द रेडियस ऑफ दिस इज आर टू ठीक है सो इसका रेडियस हो गया आर वन इसका जो रेडियस है दैट्स आर टू सो वी हैव अ स्पीयर हियर This is a sphere, right? And this is the cavity. So the initial volume of the cavity is Vc. So if we heat this sphere, having a cavity, then volume of both the cavity and the sphere will increase so radius r1 will change r1 dash is equal to r1 One plus alpha. Let us say this is again, you know, made up of aluminium. So alpha aluminium delta T. So why we using alpha? Because uh, radius is a linear quantity. So we are using the coefficient of linear expansion. Similarly, what about R two dash? That become the radius of the cavity will also change. It will also increase. It will become less. Now what about the volume? Of the entire sphere, that will increase. And what about the volume of the cavity? So volume of the cavity is also going to increase. This is the cavity either. So the volume of this cavity is also going to increase. This is going to be Vc into Vc dash is equal to Vc into one plus gamma delta T. And what about this gamma? So we know that gamma is equal to three alpha. So it will become three alpha. So this is what is going to happen in the expansion of cavities or expansion of sphere. Entire volume is going to increase. So why did we discuss this cavity? Because one may think that uh, one may think that when the volume of the sphere is increasing, you know, so the volume of the cavity will de decrease because sphere will increase. So ये जो पूरा distance ये बढ़ेगा, इधर से बढ़ेगा, इधर से बढ़ेगा तो हो सकता है आप ये सोचो कि cavity छोटा हो जाए. But ऐसा नहीं है. वो cavity छोटा नहीं होगा. Cavity का size भी ओके ठीक है ये पॉइंट समझ में आप लोगों को यस सर ओके सर प्लीज नोट डाउन दिस सो नाउ लेट अस डिस्कस द नेक्स्ट टॉपिक दैट इज द अपरेंट एक्सपेंशन ऑफ लिक्विड
So let us uh, consider that there is a container and this container is completely filled with the liquid. <coughs> okay, it's completely filled with the liquid. Okay, so this is completely filled with the liquid. So uh, the volume, the initial volume of the container is V0 and the initial volume of the liquid is also V0. Okay. These are the initial volumes of liquid and the container. Now, if we provide heat or if we heat this container, all right, yeah, say you're providing this. Hello. Am I audible? Yes. Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. So, so now again we'll start. We're going to discuss the apparent expansion of the liquid. All right. So apparent expansion of the liquid. So we are having a container here. So this container is completely filled with the liquid. Okay. This container is completely filled with the liquid. So the volume of the container is equal to volume of the liquid is equal to V0. Okay. So this is the initial initial volume of the liquid and the container. Now, if we heat this system, if we heat this system, okay, so what is going to happen? So if we heat this system, then both the liquid and the container, both the liquid and the container are going so what will be the final volume what will be the final volume of the container so final volume of the container will be you know v naught into 1 plus gamma container delta t and what will be the final volume of the liquid it will be v naught into 1 plus gamma liquid delta T. What is gamma C? Gamma C is the coefficient of cubical expansion of the container. And gamma L is the coefficient of cubical expansion of the liquid. So now what are these? These are the final volumes. These are the final volumes of the liquid and the container. Now, suppose, suppose that let us suppose that the that gamma l is greater than gamma c. So let us suppose that you know gamma l is greater than gamma c. Now what will happen if gamma l is greater than gamma c? What will happen? Yes, everyone, please just try. What will happen? very simple if gamma is greater than gamma c then the final volume of the liquid final volume of the liquid greater than container greater than the container yes so the final volume of the liquid is greater than the container now, now container is also expanding liquid is also expanding but liquid will expand more so the liquid will overflow so what will happen liquid is going to overflow from the container yes or no 
Yes. Yes, sir. Yes. So the liquid is going to overflow. So the liquid will overflow. So how much liquid will overflow? <coughs> the volume that will overflow. So the volume overflow will be the overflow will be delta V is equal to we can say volume of final volume of liquid VL dash minus VC dash, right? So if you subtract these two equations, ye aap subtract karoge, so V naught V naught cancel ho jayega, or delta V ka jo value hai, wo aa jayega V naught bracket ke andar aa jayega gamma L minus gamma C into delta T. Yes or no? Hai ki nahi? Yes, sir. Yes. So this will be your you know, uh, this is the apparent expansion or this is the expansion of liquid with respect to container. Actually, uska liquid ka jo actual expansion hai, wo to ye hai. This is the actual expansion. Ye jo aap dekh rahe ho. This is the actual expansion of the liquid. Ye actual expansion. Or ye jo aap dekh rahe ho. This is not the actual expansion. This is the expansion of liquid with respect to container. What is this? This is expansion of liquid with respect to the container. Isli hum log isko bolte hai apparent expansion. Or ye jo aap gamma L gamma C dekhe rahe gamma L minus gamma C that is called as gamma apparent. So ye jo gamma L minus gamma C hai this is we call it as gamma apparent. That is gamma L minus gamma C. Is it understood by everyone? So gamma apparent is the coefficient of apparent expansion. So this entire thing is apparent expansion. Why apparent expansion? Because this is the expansion of liquid with respect to container. So you will understand it. You will think that liquid expanded and it has overflowed. But actually container also expanded. And the container has expanded more liquid. That's why it has overflowed. So the more liquid overflowed, that is not the actual expansion. That is the apparent expansion. That is the expansion of the liquid with respect to the container. That we should understand. So here, this is gamma L minus gamma C. Now this is neither the coefficient of expansion of liquid, neither the coefficient of expansion of container. This is the coefficient of expansion of liquid with respect to container. So that's why this is called as gamma apparent. This we call gamma apparent. Okay? So please note down till this point. I hope all of you understood. Yes, sir. Okay.